CBS 2 exclusive investigation. Huge sums of money potentially stolen from California community colleges. Yeah, and it's being done by fake students scamming the system to steal financial aid. CBS 2 investigative reporter David Goldstein is here tonight. David, how much money are we actually talking about? You know, it's, it's a big mystery. No one seems to know the hmm. dollar figure just yet. You know, the federal government has funded billions of dollars in aid for students because of the pandemic, and so-called fake students have taken aim at that money. We spoke with one community college professor who blew the whistle. How many fake students have you had in your classes, do you think? At least 30% of the students were fake students. Kim Rich teaches criminal justice at Pierce College in Woodland Hills and found in her online summer class a pattern with almost a dozen students, all from out of state. The discussions were very identical. The actual assignments that they typed out and uploaded were identical. And I just felt something was off. That person was 100% fake. And With her law enforcement I mean, I background, really she started digging and found what she believes are hundreds of fake students who may be stealing financial aid money. In this class roster, she claims to have found more than 40. Here, a student by the name of Kiania Wilson is enrolled at Pierce College. Look at her photo. It's the same picture we found in this online obituary for Latasha Wilson, Kiania's sister, who died in St. Louis in 2012. Kiania, who also lives in St. Louis, claims she's not enrolled at Pierce. They're not students, they're thieves, right? Correct. Joe Moreau is vice chancellor of technology at the Foothill De Anza Community College District in the Bay Area. Yeah, they, they are crooks. They, 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 have, they have no interest in education. They're here to steal money. His school also got hit. He figured out how they're doing it and is now trying to prevent it. They pose as a legitimate student. Uh, they register for classes. They apply for financial aid. Uh, and if, if they do it right, uh, a college or a district might actually pay them financial aid funds. And then they disappear. The fake students are hitting community colleges all over the state. A spokesperson for the California Community College's Chancellor's Office says they're committed to preventing and identifying fraud. Right now, they don't have a comprehensive picture of what may be occurring. They've identified approximately 20% of their online application traffic is malicious and bot related. That one's fake. Professor Rich says she alerted authorities at Pierce College in August, but some of those students are still enrolled in her class. The L.A. Community College District, which Pierce College is a part of, says they continue to aggressively review and pursue all issues related to questionable, suspicious, and or fraudulent enrollments and financial aid applications. And it's not just taxpayers who are getting ripped off. There are students out there who do need financial aid. There are students who cannot get into our classes because they're full of fake students. And Professor Rich says that she believes the fraud could be in the millions of dollars. Right now, the chancellor's office says they don't know the extent of it. Both state and federal authorities are investigating. Jeff, Susie? So, David, is this just happening with community colleges? There are a lot of colleges out there. Yeah, why are yeah. they being targeted? Community mm -hmm. colleges, because they accept just about everyone. So that's the key mm -hmm. there. It's so easy to be accepted at community colleges. Huh. Once they get accepted, if they get the financial aid and they put all that together, the scammers, they say, can take the money. I see. Wow. All right. David, thank you so much. If you have a story idea for David, call our CBS2 Investigates tip line, 818-655-2442, or you can email us at cbs2investigates at cbs.com, and your story might be David's next investigation.